Since IVF was developed over 40 years ago now, there's so much more we can do. Most importantly from my work is the way in which we can use IVF techniques to prevent the transmission of mitochondrial DNA diseases. Mitochondria are the powerhouses or batteries of the cell. They generate all the energy that the cell needs and they contain their own genetic material, their own DNA. And that's passed on from mother to child. So mitochondrial DNA diseases are passed on through the egg into the embryo and can cause terrible mitochondrial disease. There is no cure for these conditions. So patients will develop significant disabilities and even die from mitochondrial disease. What we're doing here is to try and prevent the transmission of these diseases from generation to generation basically by transferring the nuclear DNA, which contains all the information that gives us our characteristics, but getting the mitochondrial DNA from a donor woman. Children born will have all the characteristics of both parents, but actually the mitochondria, the healthy mitochondria from a donor woman. Instead of having no reproductive options, that all of a sudden these patients are now able to choose different reproductive techniques. Not everybody will choose something like mitochondrial donation, this technique to prevent the transmission of these diseases, but at least they have that choice and availability now. It took five years for us to take mitochondrial donation through public engagement into Parliament. There were four separate scientific reviews of the subject. And of course, some people will be opposed to this. This is something that's considered in great detail in a very open debate. And I think that's entirely appropriate for any new advancement in science. The next step for this intervention is to make this technique safer and more efficient. What we're really looking for is to try and make sure that the choice that these patients have is a choice where they absolutely know the outcome of their pregnancies. And I think that's something that only further research in this area and work to improve the way in which we're able to do this technique will allow us to provide this information for patients. Medical science has moved on dramatically over the last few years and it's so exciting to work because suddenly we're able to offer opportunities to patients that we simply couldn't do a few years ago. As a clinical doctor, as a scientist, it's a wonderful time to be working in, in, in medical research.